Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Soren here today with another tutorial. This one's going to be a little bit shorter because we're going over something really simple. Uh, this is something I kind of struggled with when I first started editing, so I thought I'd let you guys know right off the gates how to do it. Uh, the really easy and effective ways that you don't have to struggle the way I did. Uh, I'm going to show you two different ways to sync in After Effects. The first way is what I see most people doing, and the second way is what I've been doing, and I find it's uh, a lot more effective and it's been a lot better for me to use. So the first way to do it is by using markers. This is something you can do in Sony Vegas. Uh, I'm not sure how you do it there, but on After Effects it's quite similar. It's, uh, I think it's the shift key maybe in Sony Vegas. Excuse me if I'm wrong, I've never used it. But in After Effects you're going to be using the asterisk. But it's not the one that's above the number 8. It has to be the one on the number pad. So if you are on a laptop and you do not have a number pad, there's uh, and you're on Windows, I'm not too sure if you can do this on Mac, but on Windows, all you have to do is go and search up on let's see, wait, on screen keyboard and you're going to bring that up and uh, there won't be a number pad here so you have to go to options and then turn on numeric keypad right there hit ok and it'll bring it up for you so uh, if we go ahead and give our song a play you just hit the asterisk every time you hear a beat you want to sing to so uh, we'll go ahead and play it uh, we're gonna listen to it once so we kind of know where everything is in all right so now you see um, after it gets done RAM previewing we've created two little markers here where uh, the beats happen actually let's go ahead and give that one more try and then now I'm going to use the uh, what you call it, the asterisk on my keyboard actually so if I want to delete one of the markers if I place it wrong accidentally click the button you can just right click on it and hit either delete this marker or delete all markers, lock markers because you can actually move these around if you want. So we're going to delete all markers, we're going to do it one more time. There we go. Alright, so I wanted to do uh, the claps as well. So now you see, uh, just from listening to it, you have the marker set up. Now one thing that I was saying how uh, this technique actually doesn't work as well for me. I don't know if it's my computer or maybe my copy of After Effects is a little bit behind but every time I do this the marker is a little bit ahead of the audio that's actually playing but it's not exactly on so even though I'm hearing it and pressing the button at the same time the uh, the marker is a little bit off and I'll show you what I mean here in a second so if I click on uh, my audio layer here and I double tap L on my keyboard that'll bring up the audio wavelength and so here it's pretty easy to see I'll zoom in a little bit more for you is uh, every time the wavelength gets big obviously there's going to be a, a beat that I'm trying to sing to so these larger ones are the the kicks and then these are the little uh, the claps the smaller ones but all of these markers that I created are a little bit in front so if you need really general syncing like you're not doing anything that's super precise then you can go ahead and use the asterisk way or if maybe if your computer is probably a lot faster than mine I don't have the best specs then uh, maybe Ash just line up a little bit better for you. But mine haven't, and that's what really messed up some of my edits. If you look on screen right now, this is an old COD edit I had. And uh, the syncing's off just slightly by like a few frames, and it's really annoying. Yeah, you'll see what I mean. Alright, so one thing to fix this is you can either mute, move these markers over, which is uh, perfectly fine. But I actually just don't use markers at all. One thing I do is uh, I just bring up these these layers. I'll give my part a uh, listen to a couple times so I can make sure that these are the beats I want to sync to. Because every now and then there'll be parts of the music that uh, that will create these larger wavelengths that won't really fit into the sync. Or at least maybe not into the way you want it. So I just use these as markers essentially. So if I brought in my clip, I could just put on you know some scales here or something like that. Alright there, so now you see I placed my keyframes right where the, the beats would happen according to the wavelengths. And that will sync it up pretty well for you. So now if we just let that random preview. It's pretty on target. And then you also know by doing this, even if like your your previews are lagging for some reason, I've never had that really happen to me. But uh, when you render it out, it'll, it'll be correct. So that's just one way or not one way, that's two ways that you can uh, sync in After Effects. I hope this helped you a lot. I wish I would have seen something like this when I first started because uh, especially this wavelength thing is is uh, seemed to be a lot more accurate. 
from from my experiences so anyway guys make sure you leave a suggestion down below if you want to see more tutorials leave a like on the video if you learned something if you enjoyed it if you did not make sure you leave a thumbs down and you let me know why down below but anyway guys i've been soren and i'm out thanks